When working with large Unity scenes where you're going to have a lot of duplicate objects, it's actually ideal not to set those objects to use static batching. Static batching attempts to take different meshes and combine them into one to save on performance. The problem with this is that when you have a lot of duplicate objects, you end up with the same meshes in many different combined meshes, which is an inefficient use of space and can make your build sizes in the hundreds of megabytes when they could be in the tens. To fix this, select your objects that you have many duplicates of. Remember that you can control click to select multiple in the hierarchy, or you can shift click to select multiple that are in a row. Then go up to the static dropdown and untick batching static. You then want to go down to the material that your object is using and enable GPU instancing. What this does is takes multiple different meshes that are using the same material, and instead of using different draw calls for each mesh, it attempts to batch them using the same draw call for all of the objects sharing that material. Also, don't forget to compress your assets. You can compress your meshes by clicking on the FBX file and then click medium under mesh compression. You can compress textures by clicking on the textures and then clicking use crunch compression with normal compression quality. If you're making worlds for VR chat, you can install VR world toolkit, go to the world debugger, go to the build report after you've successfully built your world to track down any uncompressed or undercompressed assets. For example, this cube map here, which is used for the skybox, used to be set to 2048, which is very large. So I now set it to 512 and I can actually lower that even further. Thanks, I hope you found this video helpful.